I'm Lyric Montgomery Kennard, and I'd like to share with you my quilt inspired by Libby Lehman. It's inspired by one of her crop circles quilt with her beautiful thread play in rings over a piece background. Now, the thing I love to do the most is working with paint and dye and color and creating my own cloth rather than doing the thread work. So I took something inspired by her specialty into my specialty. I dye and paint and print my own cloth. So I dyed this cloth and then I screen printed um, just a fun little scribbled circle image on the background in kind of a monochromatic color scheme so it blends in. It's kind of a tone on tone texture. And then I playfully pieced the background, not really planning ahead of time, just using coordinating colors and put it together, put it up on my wall, and as most often happens in my studio, the quilt top was finished on the wall. There happened to be paint laying out on the table from another project, so... Right on the wall, I took a brush and started painting large circles. I was using a white opaque textile paint, so it showed up and covered up some of the work. Um, I think I only did maybe three circles to start with. Left it up on the wall, went to bed overnight, got up the next morning and went, eh. It often happens with me. I leave it alone for a while, come back, and the design isn't as satisfying to me. So. I think what's the next step? The three circles weren't quite enough. I had it posted on Facebook and somebody said, it looks a little Mickey Mouse. And <laughs> she was right, it did look like Mickey Mouse ears. So I added more circles in the white and think it really unified the design. Had it up on the wall, went to bed again, same thing. Uh, woke up in the morning, added some yellow paint and all of a sudden it was a really vibrant primary color scheme. The turquoise fuchsia yellow um, brought it into a really active, wonderful, bright color scheme, which is what I think about when I think about Libby. I have a wonderful story. I was teaching at the same conference that she was, and I had a huge time crunch. I had a class that was really hard to pack down that usually took an hour, but in that hour I had to get to a completely different venue and have a new class set up and I had said something like, oh, what am I going to do for dinner? And guess who shows up? Libby Lehman shows up with a dinner to go for me and help me pack down my class. And she didn't know me from Adam. And I'm sure she had other things that she was doing. Because she was working at the conference too. But she took time out of her schedule to help uh, a fellow teacher. And I hope to pay that forward and to be like Libby when I grow up. Um, so this will be on view in Houston this fall and up for auction to benefit Libby in this her time of need. So thank you for joining me. Bye.